are going to know our next guests from the show Antiques Road Show. These identical twin brothers are experts in antique furniture. They've got yeah. a lot of personality, too. Lee and Leslie Kino are here. We don't know which is which. <laughs> Raise your hand if your name's Lee. Yeah, yeah. Lee. We both have blue shirts just so you can tell us apart. Right? I'm John. This is Elizabeth hey, just so you can tell us apart. Thanks nice for having to us see on the show. you guys. Thanks for being Thank here. Okay, Thank I think the coolest part about Antiques Road Show is when you see the reactions of people when they've had something in their attic or they picked it up at a garage sale and you tell them how much it's really worth. What well, is that moment like for you? We love that. I mean, everyone wants to have that winning lottery ticket, you know, right? Absolutely. We all do. Yeah. So when it happens, we're so happy for that person it's, and, you know, it's, it's so much through life. So, pardon me, it's so much fun and sometimes we have to, we tell them it's a fake or that it's not worth what they think it is. And that's tough to do, but it makes a good show because yeah. people learn about what, what a fake looks like. and But that you hate to let them down, but the, the, it's fun to give them good news. you got to have a favorite over the years. Something that's just stood out to you like, oh my gosh, what are we looking we at? We do. We do. Claire, in her, her Dummy Loon Seymour table, she paid $25 for the yard sale. And it sold, and then we appraised it for two hundred to 250000 Oh, my. And she bought it at a yard sale. And a retired school teacher, it sold for $540,000. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah. So, Did she ever hear from the person that got that sold it at the yard sale? No, I know. Uh, luckily, uh, the, the, the guy would have called up and said, give me, give me some of my money, money, money back, right? <laughs> but she was a nice lady, a school teacher, and she spent the money. She gave it to a local library. So it was a happy story. You yeah, know, she really. took a trip around the world, which is great. Oh, this yeah, she great. did take a trip. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah, you see, I like to hear that too, that you That's do good. something really cool for yourself. That is awesome. How about, how about like something bizarre that you've ever come across? Oh, I mean, Leslie, yeah. you have a good oh, one. The strangest bizarre. one for me was in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and a lady came in with an armadillo shell <laughs> upside down with yeah. the tail, scaly. And I noticed it had pink, frilly satin hanging out. Well, come to find out, it was a baby bassinet. And the claws from the creature were coming over the edge. And the scaly tail. And you she said, the baby. And she said, this is my grandmother. She, I mean, she was a baby. And I said, and I think it's like Rosemary's baby. You know, this is like, you know, I said, well, how is your grandmother? You know, who was a baby looking at this? And she said, she's kind of eccentric. <laughs> she's kind of <laughs> weird. You know, she was like, I understand why. So cool. so it was about $300 for conversation <laughs> pieces. Yes. Nice. So you've got to have some ideas for folks when you're looking through your attic or you're looking through, what are some things to kind of keep in mind that, oh, it might be worth something? I mean, one thing is that if something really stands out and it just shows that it's quality, I think I think one thing to, to look for is something that doesn't have an old uh, price tag on it in an antique shop. If it's beat up and smudged, you know it's been to a lot of antique shops. <laughs> yeah. right? Stay away. So you want to get something that looks like it's really fresh, right out of an estate, if you're looking at right. tag sales, right? Yeah, and, yeah. and also look for that little extra bit of quality. It might be a little dovetail, a shimmering piece of wood quality, and craftsmanship, um, something special that shines out. Well, and you have brought that here today, as a matter of fact, because you got some new furniture. We really want to show this kind of stuff off, and, and uh, I want you to tell us about each piece that we're looking at here, and not only about the piece itself, but but why you think it might have some staying power in its own right. So Thank let's you. start with this one right yeah, here. Yeah, this is looking? their own line, well, right? Well, we, yeah, we started a contemporary furniture line yeah. with Theodore Alexander. We're really psyched. We did it, it together, and it's yeah. brought Lee and I even together closer. How is that possible? Joint effort. Yeah, right. Yeah, I know. You were in the womb together. together. I don't understand You're right. this. Okay. <laughs> no, we're able to, they, they told us the only limitation is your imagination. So we came up with these pieces. We have almost 85 pieces now in the line. And, uh, you know, I mean, like this piece, uh, this is waterfall babinga on top. This, this is my favorite thing that you, you like. It? Oh, thank you. you like it. Yeah, this they is call amazing. it the flying buttress. Oh, yeah. And those arches, you know, you see on those this, this 15th century churches. Yep. yep. Right? And, and we were inspired by uh, racing. We love to race vintage cars and that great parabolic curve on those 1950s aluminum bodies, you know? Uh -huh. That's what inspired us to make the buttress. There you are. Yeah, there's our motorcycles, yeah. race cars. That's us racing. Uh, I think I'll say I won that race. So. Uh, I won. Yeah, I won. Uh, yeah, but, uh. You know, you mentioned that it's a contemporary furniture line, but you can definitely see the, the classic design in it as well. Are you, you're hoping this is going to be something you can keep for a long time, right? Well, we hope that, uh, yeah, 300 years from now, these are, you know, heirlooms. These yes. Are, they they, they say these were made by these two Kino guys. They'll, they'll be on the Antiques right, Road Show. Well, this chair is beautiful. I can see that happening with this chair. Thank you. And this you is, can thank say, you. see the similar design here, too. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. This is called the slope, and mm -hmm. uh, it's made of solid mahogany. And this, and in this piece, we kind of 
we, we, everything we love about chairs, they kind of envelop you. Everything we love about organic quality, mm -hmm. we bring into this chair. It's like a perfect chair. It has this uh, cane back, these really, really curved arms. And, and if you don't mind, can you? I, I'm going to so sit in it. Yeah. Yeah. It better, it better be her. I don't want to break no, your chair. No, no, no. Feel it. Feel well, these. You have to really rub your heels on the arm. Yeah, yeah. 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 Would, right. You wouldn't necessarily think that it was really comfortable. It's, you guys just yeah, you relax. We're gonna go to these other pieces <laughs> over here. We'll see you in a You hang out. <laughs> all right. What are we looking at here, fellas? <laughs> we, we do. You do. And yeah, it, thanks. It, this chair is, suits me. It is a really comfortable chair. What if chair. I want to have a cocktail and set it down? Yeah, right that's there. right. Perfect. We'll so even move it over for you. Guys. Yeah. Yeah. These are the. Can they stay forever? All right. This is fantastic. Nice. But we, we love this. This is a, and that does go well together yeah, with this. Yeah, this is a really cool piece. Well, we call this, we have a series of these. We call this the fine point. Fine, I think this is a fine point too. Right. And these little occasional tables in it to, to us. And we love Queen Anne furniture, uh -huh. which we phrase in the road show. But we like the kinetic energy and the motion in the legs, that, that muscular quality. It looks like it's going to dance away or hop away, you know? We got to get to this yep. one. I don't want to okay. sell yeah. this one short. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, so thank you. One more is, piece. We call this the raindrop. We, this is, says everything about the S curve. And, and Elizabeth, you don't have the curves, John, but Elizabeth ha has those curves. And <laughs> <laughs> this is what those, that this table's about. Those I curves. work on it every day. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't have the, uh, I don't have me either, believe me. You know. But this is all about curves, all about organic, uh, organic shape and it's made of this beautiful Ophram wood and it's just uh, we it can be used in the center of a room or entranceway yeah, like gorgeous I mean yeah, it's just a, it's stuff. really we see we see uh, furniture as sculpture you know mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be just functional it should be art well your passion only... is certainly infectious you guys you can tell you really love what you <laughs> do <laughs> the only thing they cool. need is to, to get behind it a little bit <laughs> <laughs> guys thank you so much thank for being you. here welcome thank to Minnesota thank you can you can meet thank these guys you can meet them tonight at Gabbard's in the diner they're going to introduce their full furniture line so you can check out all the new pieces. The event starts at 6 o'clock. It is free, but you do need to reserve a spot. Head to KSTP.com and click on Twin Cities Live to register for it. Side note, they will not be doing antique appraisals tonight, Yeah. but you will get those smiles and those handshakes. Yeah, <laughs> and who needs an antique when you've got this new stuff? This good is stuff. 85 pieces in that line. That is terrific. Really cool. Thanks a lot, you Thank guys. Thank you for having us. All right, today on the show, lots more great giveaways, including, you know, we've got more of those family four-packs of tickets.